All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zav. And we are Real Time. Today, we got another movie for May Movie Month. Today, we are watching Soul. This has been a pretty highly requested movie on our Patreon and YouTube for some time now. And none of us have seen it. None of us have watched it, which is pretty cool. But a little bit of knowledge going into it. I have a few things. I know that it's about a teacher and that it's very sad. And mm -hmm. also, the main voice for like the teacher, the main character is Jamie Foxx. Oh, wow. Who is in the hospital right now. So prayers for Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Speedy recovery. But that is what I know. That's all I know. I don't know anything about this. Um, I've never heard of it. But the other Disney movies we did on this channel are really good. So I think it's, it's going to be good. I think it's a more serious one like uh, Coco. So I think it'll be really good. Coco's still fun, though. I'm sure yeah. it'll be a fun movie. Yeah, I'm really excited because I've heard nothing but good things about this movie. Mm -hmm. And I've seen like pictures of it. I really like the style. And if it's anything like Coco or Inside Out, I'm, I'm really going to love it. And we've got sadness back there be because her. I have a feeling that I'm going to get sad at, at some point in this movie for sure. Because like you guys said, I, I've, I have heard that this one is pretty sad. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Before we get into this one, if you guys do enjoy our movie reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our social medias, and the address to our P.O. box down there. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. Soul, let's go. <laughs> Jazz band teacher. I never did band in school. Oh. oh. She's pretty good. We got some talent here. Mm -hmm. Going off on a little solo. <laughs> Nothing to make fun of there. Yeah, what? He's just good at the instrument. Then he has the inner voices, and it's like he's, it's like he's singing. Oh, wow, I really like That's this. The next thing I know, it, it, it's like he's Is it a musical? It's probably just like any other Pixar movie. Got a little bit of songs but i think this one is about music somehow he's a music teacher i was born to play connie knows what i mean right connie i'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh more part-time for you you're now our full-time band teacher nice Job security medical insurance pension wow that's uh he doesn't seem thrilled welcome to the ms 75 I don't think he wants to be teaching. Full time job. Working man coming through. Yeah, Mom, but I, you're going to tell them yes, right? Don't worry, Mom, I got a plan. You always got a plan. Maybe you need to have a backup plan, too. He probably just wants to be an outright musician. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello? How you been, Mr. G? Uh, it's Curly. I'm the new drummer in the Dorothea Williams Quartet, and we're kicking off our tour with the show at the half note tonight. Dorothea Williams, are you kidding? They're going to ask him to play? They're probably going to watch, watch, right? I would die a happy man if I could perform with Dorothea Williams. Oh, well, it's good. Yeah. Oh. They need someone to fill in. What if he's not good? We've seen him play. He's good. He's good. What instrument is he playing, though? I think any, and I'm, he's good at them all. I know, but what do they need him for? We'll see. I'm curious. I would guess, say. like, saxophone, but maybe not. I think they're gonna fall in love. Not gonna lie, I think Connie was better. <laughs> Different instrument. Joe is Ray Gardner's son. So, we're down to middle school band teachers now. Uh, Damn, what is with this shade? Okay, so he is playing the piano. All right. I hope he doesn't get nervous. What do we play? They're just jamming like just going sold like free i don't know i like that yeah nope she doesn't does she oh well, i like the way that sounds mm -hmm. i think the piano is one of my favorite instruments just like it's so something so soothing about it is him playing He's getting lost in it. Wow, he's really good. I think we're in his soul. 
that's like insanely you can have so much talent to play like two different things at once yeah he's playing real quick on one hand and a whole different thing on another i hope she likes it how can you not like that i've been uh, teaching middle school band uh, but on the weekends i got a suit Ooh. get a suit teach a good suit back here tonight first shows at nine sound checks at seven yeah he crushed it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how can you not like that? That was insane. You see that, Dad? I think his dad's uh. dead. Oh my God! Bro, he is—he doesn't pay attention to anything. Maybe that's his thing. Like he's super oblivious to danger. Oh, down the manhole. What? Oh no. Enchanted? Don't tell me he died or something. Dude, he better not have. What? Yeah, soul. Jeez. Hello? I think he may have died. I don't think he died. I think maybe he needs to like figure out a way out of here to like wake back up though. I mean Bro, this is trippy. This kinda reminds me of the inside out characters. Yeah. He looks like he could be an emotion. I'm not supposed to be here. Ah, uh, must have been sudden for you. Oh, yeah. You see, Joe, I'm 106 years old. Been waiting a long time for this. For what? The great. Is that like heaven right there? The the light. I think. Maybe he has to go the other way and. I have a gig tonight. I can't die now. <laughs> well, I really don't think you have a lot to say about this. Oh yes, man, yes, he yes, actually I died. Not, not yet. This can't happen. I'm not dying. Go away from the light, right? I just started. Uh, that is really sad. He's dead. I'm not dying. Oh gosh. I feel really bad for Joe. Oh man. I don't think this is good though. I hope he's not bad. Like, where does he go if he doesn't go to the great beyond? It's like Minecraft. Bro. Whoa. Oh man. This is insane. Like, what is going on? Yo. I, this looks like the, a Dr. Seuss book. This looks like the, the Field of Reeds. <laughs> wow, this place looks oh, really cool. What? Are those like babies or something? Look at this. Look how they look. They're just like all circles. They turned into circles when they descended too. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> New, New souls. souls, yeah. Maybe they're about to be like born or something. Look here, quiet coyote. Shh, quiet coyote. What the heck? They're little kids, they're babies. I am the coming together of all quantized fields of the universe. A period what? Of form your feeble human brain can comprehend. What? You can call me Jerry. <laughs> that's insane. So that's like God. This isn't the great beyond, it's the great before. The, the great, great before. before. Oh, we call that it is, the U Seminar now. That is a cool thing to think about. Yeah, I've never thought about that. Does this mean I'm dead? Not yet. Your body's in a holding pattern. It's complicated. I'll get you back to your group. <laughs> I like Jerry. Yeah. Jerry seems really cool. Yeah, very nice. Welcome to the youth seminar. <laughs> they all you just took the hat. Treat. I want to see him play music. It's not adding up. Where's Joe? Hmm. This week, what is it? The council. Okay, first stop is the excitable pavilion. You four, in you go. I didn't know we were gonna get into like this concept. Yeah, I don't. This is wild. I'm here for it though. This is really cool. You will be aloof, and you too. Why not? She's just giving them like personalities, yeah. bro. So, uh, how do they get to Earth? Well, they use the Earth portal. Oh, let's hit course. that up. <laughs> the Earth portal. 
Wow. Once they get a complete personality, of course. Oh, is he going to be missing something, you think? He's, he's going straight go. for it. He's going straight for it. It's not going to work. Maybe he's missing something. No way. He's got it. No. He's already been a baby, you have to think, right? Like one of these? Yeah, maybe he's incomplete, though. That would be fun. Yeah, dude. Rejected. I want to be thrown into that field like that, bro. Just dropped onto it. He's going again. I think he's dead. She hey, literally she's, said, she said not, not yet. yet. <laughs> he's in like a holding stage. Purgatory, you could say. Jerry will take it from here. Thanks, Jerry. Head right on over there to Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the Jerry's. Jerry, we've got a problem. Oh, hello there, Terry. Oh, this is Terry. Off. It's my job to keep track of this stuff, Jerry. I'm the accountant. And we all think you're doing a wonderful job, don't we, everyone? Absolutely. Yeah, so let Terry continue to do a good job. <laughs> Hello again, Terry. Don't play down with me. <laughs> They're just all the same person. Hey. <laughs> this is insane. I, I like it. A, A to A, A. I do like this. That would take literally forever. I'm an agreeable skeptic who's cautious yet flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> an irritable wallflower. I'm a manipulative megalomaniac who's intensely opportunistic. Wow. Oh, this one might be a handful. <laughs> These souls need their spark, and that's where you come in. Maybe you will find Whoa. your spark in the hall of everything where literally anything on earth could inspire. Or That's so cool. You featuring a selection of moments from your own inspiring life. I don't think we're going to get to play this music anymore. I think his soul will well, be able to. Speaking of that. I think he's going to make a... <laughs> That's the plan. Maybe he just creates a new soul. That's him. Our first mentor is Maria Martinez. Maria. They're getting soulmates. She'll be matched with one of my favorites, soul number 108 bit. <laughs> Our next mentor is Bjorn T. Borgensen. Him. Borgensen is a world renowned child psychologist who was recently awarded a Nobel Prize. That is just not him, huh? Dr. Borgensen will be matched with soul number 22. 22? Who is 22 going to be? 22 has been at the U Seminar for quite some time and has had such notable mentors as Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, and Mother Teresa. What? Ignore that. We're truly glad to have you here, Dr. Borgensen. So 22 is going to be impossible yeah. to get to Earth. Him. That's not even him. It's just not his life. I've had thousands of mentors who failed and now hate me. Mother Teresa. I have compassion for every mm. soul. Except you. I don't like <laughs> I already know everything about Earth and it's not worth the trouble. Come on. Don't you want to fill out your path? Uh, you know, I'm comfortable up here. I have She's going to like music. He's going to get her to like music. Yeah. Uh-oh. Show his real life. Oh, that's oh wow! Be sad. Fat. I don't want to go. I don't like jazz. Black improvisational music. It's one of our great contributions to American culture. At least give it a chance. This is so cool. So his dad got him into jazz yeah. music. Yeah, we. He said that. That's not what we're looking for. Wait, 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 wait. That's not how I remember it going down. I mean, I, I, I'm back when you have something. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Joe. We're looking for something different. Come on, man. And he finally just got his break, like, big break. He's like, dude, my life is sad. My life was meaningless. Yeah. That's him right now. Oh, I will not accept this kid. Give me that badge. I'm going back to my body. Oh, yeah, sure. Here. They don't want it. It doesn't work like that, though. <laughs> Well, what if I help you turn it into an earth pass? Will you give it to me then? Wait, I've never thought of that. I hmm, good compromise. 
Where's that uh, Hall of Everything? Twenty two has seen the Hall of Everything a hundred yeah. times. By the way, why do you sound like a middle aged white lady? I don't. <laughs> this is all an illusion. Huh? I could sound like this if I wanted to. Or I sound like this instead. I could even sound like you. Life is so unfair. I don't want to die. Somebody called the Wambulance. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> Just smell it. You can't. Neither can you. What? You're right. I can't smell. We can't. We can't taste either. All that stuff is in your body. <laughs> Nah. Bro, 22 does not have passion for anything. Well, I think that's, uh, everything. It's, it's gotta be something outside the box, right? I did! So let's get you to the great beyond. Um, wait! We forgot to try... Breakdancer! Yeah, let her- let 22 be a breakdancer. Just a box. Doesn't look like just a box. I was about to say that. these all of her yeah. teachers albert einstein uh, aretha franklin just a bunch of what music is this place you know how when you humans are really into something and it feels like you're in another place this is where they go well this is the zone mm. it's the space between the physical and spiritual wait a minute I was here today doing my audition. This must be where musicians come when they get into a flow. Not just musicians. Yeah, like athletes and stuff too. Wrong. Actors. <laughs> oh, did they just mess her up? Oh no. Oops. Check this out. I have been messing with this team for decades. Nix. The Nix. <laughs> oh no. What is that? <laughs> That thing's creepy. Yeah, that's scary. I don't like the noises it's making. Whoa! There he is, the guy he wants to meet. He's a rainbow ringing and a ring ting ting in a two. Good to see you again, Trent. That's Christopher Columbus. Moonwind. How are you? Moonwind. That looks like the guy from, uh, oh, what is that show? Bad Mouth, the teacher. Big Mouth? Yeah. Let's get this lost soul back home. Oh, those are he, lost souls. He's a lost soul. Whoa, that's me. Thank you. Dude, this that seems Joe. easy. Seems easy enough. Doing with my life. I'm alive! I'm alive! Free yourself! Whoa, whoa. I mean, now he's going right to jail, right? <laughs> to do to get back to my body oh we've never connected an untethered soul back to its body before but perhaps if we travel to a thin spot yes all aboard where where do we have to go a thin spot <sighs> this is super sad it's not that sad yet <laughs> and let me guess you're drumming chanting and meditating yes something like that <laughs> he's the sign flipper guy Lost souls are not that different from those in the zone. What? The Dude, zone I know that guy, whoever but this when voice that actor is. An obsession, one becomes disconnected from life. That's an interesting concept. That the people above in their zone are very close to being ones down below. Mm. Concentrate on where your body is. Listen I don't even know if he knows. It's just in a manhole, right? Or is it in a hospital bed? I think he's in the hospital bed. That's it. You're doing it. Keep going. No peeking. Maintain your meditative state or you'll break the connection. Hmm, I feel fur. Did you find a next of kin? Uh, oh. Did you hear that? Oh, that's very Oh my god, he just talked. Am I close? His heart rate is increasing. I'll get the doctor. Mr. Mittens, you stay uh -oh. right. What are we waiting no, for? No, no, don't, don't rush this. It's not the no, right. It's my time. Wait, not me. <gasps> Oh no. no. Oh no. He went in with 22. <laughs> this guy wants no part of it anymore. <laughs> Bro, what's going to be the cat? 22 is the cat, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> it is. I did it. No, I he's, did the, it. Cat. he's yeah, the cat. He's the cat. <laughs> what the? No. What? He's a cat now. 
my body. Wait, you wait, wait, in the that's cat? my body. I'm in a body? Why are you <laughs> in my body? You gotta help me. That's my body, but I'm trapped. <sighs> I fell into your body because it doesn't have a soul. Then why am I in a cat? I don't know. The cat. No. Is that Nyan Cat or whatever? No, it's the cat. Oh, no. Neon yeah. cat? Go going into the, the yeah. great beyond. That's sad. It got kicked out of its body. Just get some rest. A lot of it, okay? I'll come get Mr. How Williams do you fix this? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? We gotta get out of here. No way! I am not. Yo has to play the concert tonight. He probably broke his legs. Okay. He fell down a freaking. Moon wind. He can fix this. Oh, yeah, you gotta go find the sign flipper, huh? He's not just a cat, he's a fat cat. Keep going, <laughs> keep going. Bruh. I'm just gonna rest here for a minute. No, 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 no. They'll be back any minute. Come on. Hey. That'd be cool. He has nine lives, technically. Yeah. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> what, are you gonna hold the cat to play piano? We've got a man in a hospital gown carrying a large cat. I, um, it's all happening too fast. Let's just take a minute and, um... Come on, let's go. They could be... There's a lot of people outside. This is, would be so scary. <laughs> Has never been on Earth before. No, no, stop. What are you doing? This is New York City. You don't stop in the middle of the street. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. No, 22, don't run. The last thing we need is them getting separated. Oh no. 22. Ugh. I didn't know I had claws, okay? I am staying right here until your stupid body dies. Which will happen any minute now because your stomach is earthquaking. Food. How about you try and taste oh, some food? Yeah. You're going to love it. Some New York pizza. Never tasted it before. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. So First time eating pizza? Let's go. Hella pizza looks gas. Oh, yeah. I think it's a pizza night. There he is. Does he know that it's him, though? Like, uh -uh. he's on his body, right? So, you made oh. it into your body. No, he didn't. That is my body. You're in a cat. That's marvelous. <laughs> We'll have to perform an old-fashioned astral transmigration to space. <laughs> Getting it, it, bro. Souls He's good. You must wait for another thin spot to open between Earth and the astral plane. And that won't occur until Orcus moves into the house of Gemini. When is that? Well, the government calls it 6.30. Hmm. Oh, Terry's making progress. Sure, a lot of gas here. Oh, he's there. close, because Gardener. In the right section now. Oh my god. Is that Teach? Mm, <laughs> this looks bad. Who is that? That's the lady he's playing with. Oh in the band. Oh, oh. Dorothea. Dorothea. That's his band. Okay, your clothes are rumbling again. <laughs> you can't talk to him, you're a cat. Dorothea freaked out when she saw you. She called this other guy, Robert. He's Rob! I'm sorry. No, Rob. You took it. Clean yourself up, put on a killer suit, and get to the club early. I'm going to try and talk to her. Just make sure you show up looking like a million uh, bucks, all right? I hope I see you, man. Here, I quit. I think Jazz is pointless. No, Connie. Um, I think your cat wants to get out. Ugh, he thinks he knows everything. 22, shut you! Oh no. This is bad. Why is 22 being like this? I really am glad there's someone else who sees how ridiculous this place is. You're right to quit. I learned about quitting. Mr. G, I was practicing this one thing yesterday, and maybe you can listen to it and tell me to quit after, okay? See, hey, Connie, you love music. I think Connie just wanted Joe to talk some sense into her. She gonna get in the zone? Hmm. Twenty two just get inspired. I really love this. 
Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'd better stick with it? Yeah. Bye, Mr. Nice. <laughs> what was the point of that, Connie? I don't know. She might say she hates everything, but trombone is her thing. She's good at it. Maybe trombone is her spark. I don't know. It definitely is. What is 22's spark going to be? See that, everybody? Who figured out why the count's off? That's right, Terry did. It's Terry time. Wow, nice work. Well, who is it? Uh, Jack Gardner is his name. Looks like he's back down on it. Terry's got this under control. What is Terry's plan? And get him. Sit the count right. Look at his butt. Okay. Who is Terry down there? But you cannot be seen by anyone. Don't worry. I'll make sure no one else sees me. I'll move among the shadows like a ninja. <laughs> I like Terry. Oh my gosh, I think he's not going to change. I'll do it. You couldn't call the elevator, remember? No way. I just need to line me up. Oh Let's no. Do. You are a cat. This is going to be impossible. Do you need to shave? Oh, it's he gonna means slip. his hair. He means his hair. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Don't worry. I Bro, put a hat on. We gotta go see this. Great. Who's Des? Barber. Barber. Come on, Des. You didn't call for an appointment, man. It's gonna be a while. Uh, I was afraid of this. Go ahead and sit down. Oh. Put the hat back on. No, oh, he's going first. Dorothea Williams? That's big time, Joe. Congratulations. I know that voice. Joe I ain't getting no gig, Des. You know he missed a close but no cigar. Ah, uh, this guy. Joe, ignore him. You keeping that cat on your lap? Is it okay that I do that? I love they still have it as 22's voice, even though they hear it as Joe's. Yeah. I like being in the chair. Hey, get your head in the game. Ha! Little chainsaw. You need to settle down. <laughs> if you keep this... That's freaking out on him. For hundreds of years, I've had no style at all. You can say that again. <laughs> that guy's an a What the f is wrong with him? I was existing as a theoretical construct in a hypothetical way station between life and death. I heard that. <laughs> and by the time I got to mentor number 266, I was serious. Joe's gonna look sick, dude. Like, is all this living really worth it? They're all, so, like, so interested. But you were born to be a barber, weren't you? I wanted to be a veterinarian. Then my daughter got sick, and <laughs> barber school is a lot cheaper than veterinarian school. Damn. Burn, now you're unhappy. Whoa, whoa, slow your roll there, Joe. I'm happy as a clam, my man. Not everyone can be Charles Drew inventing blood transfusion. It's true. Anyone could play in a band if they wanted to. Don't pay Paul any mind. What? Like what are you talking about, Paul? He's just criticizing me to cover up the pain of his own failed dreams. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good burn. You cut deep. It is nice to finally talk to you about something other than jazz, yo. Huh, how come we um, never talked about your life before? You never asked, but I'm glad you did this time. <laughs> Damn, bro. Des liked 22 way more than Joe. I feel like Joe's like... Because he only talks about he's jazz. He's like coming yeah. to realization. I think Joe might end up being a teacher. <laughs> yeah, he's just that. He's like a line. He just, yeah, he's just 2D. Just friends, friends. This is so cool. Okay, ah, gotcha! Ah, thought you could cheat the universe! That's someone else. It's, it's Paul. Oh, ooh, you're not Joe Gardner. <laughs> oh. My mistake. We'll just get you back into your meat suit. <laughs> you guys will never believe what just happened. <laughs> Traumatized. Look, uh, stay away from those processed foods. Ah! Gonna ruin his life. Dude, I don't know what I would think if I saw some sh like that. <laughs> you would be like, that would be it. Yeah, I'd, I would be forever changed. You know what? You are really getting good at using those legs. Why don't you try running? Hey, I made a song. I'm jazzing. Yeah. Twenty two loves life. Oh no. Pants are ripping. For the jacket. That's the pants. You were right. These pants are loosening. Ah! Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't let people see you. <laughs> oh no. We're going to have to go to mom's. Uh, look, my mom has her own definition of what success is, and being a professional musician isn't it. So let me see. I need the. Dude, if I was 22 and I ate 
like food like this, that would be enough for me to want to be alive. But there's no reason she needs no. Hmm. Sounds like Sh Sharon. He's good. I've heard music before, but I've never felt like this inside. Of course, you love music now because you're me. Let's go. I don't think that's why. Let's go. He's gonna put the donut in there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Joe like, these, yeah? has been lacking something in his life that's holding him back from succeeding that maybe 22 will bring out of him. You forgetting something, Joey? What? Kiss her. I always kiss Melba when I see her. No, no, no. Not on the lip. <gasps> Joey! What <laughs> has gotten into you, Let boy? Finish. Cougar. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that cat isn't supposed to be some kind of peace offer. Just say you rescued it. Um, no, it's mine. I rescued it. Hmm. Too bad you can't rescue your career. Damn, Mom, Mom. come on. You'll fix it? No. What? what? How long are you gonna keep doing this, Joe? I feel like maybe his dad would, did the same yeah. thing and she's seen it again. My mom has never understood what I'm trying to do with my life. Fine, we'll get a suit off the rack somewhere. My mom has never understood what I'm trying to do with my life. <laughs> Mom, I know we've had some rough times. But you're right. I can't be truthful with you because it seems it's a cool transition. So dad could pursue his dreams and I can't. Your father had needs. Music is all I think about. From the moment I wake up in the morning to the moment I fall asleep at night. I'm just afraid that if I died today, that my life would have amounted to nothing. <sighs> Joe needs to get back in that body and crush this show. Let's make this work instead. Oh, oh it's his dad's. dad's. That's my dad's suit. Lulu, Melba, bring your good scissors oh, in here. Oh. We got work to do. <laughs> 22 is sick. I feel like it seemed like 22 was like kind of spitballing that too at one point. Like, yeah. Dude, I, I can already feel that I'm going to cry at some point. Like it's going to be sad at the end, I think. I just, I feel the family stuff coming on. You heard me, right? The suit is wool, not polyester. I love it, but it so sucks that he doesn't get to experience this. He just has to watch through a cat. What does that mean, though? That, like, 22 is out here, like, fixing all of his relationships and stuff. Oh, busy right now. Wanna wait till you die. What are they gonna do when 22 wants Where's to come Where's Terry? Lurking somewhere. He's been too absent. Uh-oh. I just have this weird feeling that, tw like, not both 22 and Joe are gonna get to stay. So I was gonna say, like, where does 22 go then? Yeah. So, you ready? I feel like, 22 might not be able to come back to Earth. Just look at what I found. Your mom sewed your suit from this cute spool. When I was nervous, Des gave me this. He's gonna let 22 stay in there. That's what's gonna happen. But then you showed me about purpose and passion and maybe sky watching can be my spark or walking i'm really good at walk <laughs> regular old living but hey when you get back to the youth seminar you can give it an honest try who's ready to go home <gasps> moon win uh oh 22 no 22 is gonna mess it up yeah I've got to find it here, on Earth. This is my only chance to find my spark. 22, you're only loving this stuff because you're in my- I don't think so. No. I'm in the chair. Come on, 22. This isn't oh. cool. This isn't cool, 22. Terry's doing a <laughs> job. Yeah. yeah, where's Terry? <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Well, Terry's gonna take the wrong person. Yeah, I don't know if he knows that Joe's in the cat. Yeah. Yep. Got the wrong one. Got them uh, both. Got them both. Just when we were BMing Terry. 
I understand why 22 wants to do it, but man, is that screwing over Joe. <laughs> We're back now. No! No! I was gonna play with Dorothy Wood. I was about to find my spark! Oh, she's Earth! She's Earth! Oh, yeah, she is. She has the Earth Pass. 22 got her pass? Oh my goodness! What is, Joe, this is great. Great. What is it? What is her? What is her spark? I did. It was my spark that changed that badge. She only got that because she was no, living. That's, my... not... that's Joe's not true, being Joe. Annoying. That is not true, Joe. I get to see the count right. Terry, you have done a super job. We'll take it from here. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Could they like combine? Wouldn't that be cool? We want all both go back to Joe. Becomes Joe Goldberg and has a split personality. I need them both to go. Ah. I have to ask, how the dickens did you do it? Get that first pass to change. Oh, I just let her walk a mile in my shoes, you could say. Um, we never found out what Twenty Two's purpose was. Excuse me. You know. That was really sad as shit. What is her spark? It's about something about Joe, like yeah, being her like friend. That. Where did you get that idea? Because I have piano. It's what I was born to do. That's my spark. A spark isn't a soul's purpose. It, it is music. My spark is music. I... There's more to the more more than that. I got no purpose. No purpose. No purpose. No, she's gonna become a lost soul. What's gonna happen with 22? She can maybe see him if he like absolutely crushes it in here and right and gets in the, in the zone. Yeah, but I feel like he's he's late probably, huh? I decide who plays, and if you don't go with me, you'll be making the biggest mistake of your career. Aren't you an arrogant one? I guess you really are a jazz player. <laughs> Tell Robert he's out. Dang it. <laughs> What? Yes, Rob, go! Leave the room! No! Get ready, Joe Gardner. Your life is about to start. How does 22 come back? We'll figure it out. I like that. Dang. He's sweating. They're a good band. Let's Got go. a standing ovation. That was sick. Welcome to the quartet, T. Hey, mm, let's go. He's in the band now. Oh, his mom's here. Aw. All the ladies. I can't. And now he's gonna he's now he's something. gonna feel like wow. It's something about twenty two. He's gonna realize that's not what he wanted. What happens next? We come back tomorrow night and do it all again. What's wrong? Yeah, I don't think this is what he thought it would be. I've been waiting on this day for my entire life. It's, I thought I'd feel different. I heard this story about a fish. He swims up to this older fish and says, I'm trying to find this thing they call the ocean. <laughs> That's what you're in right now. This, says the young fish, this is water. What I want is the ocean. I like that metaphor. It sucks, though, that he doesn't have the feeling that he thought he would. Jerry said that, like, the, the hobbies and the passions and stuff like that, that's not what makes the spark. It's something else. I think it's just, like, connections. Huh? Relationships. Yeah, relationships. His spark was with 22. Personal relationships. I think that's why every new soul needs a mentor. Those are all things that gave 22 spark. Teaching. Talent. Yeah, he's going to be a teacher. I, I had a feeling because his one student said that his class was the only thing that got him through school. Oh, his dad, um, bro.
He's a teacher. What he's meant to be. Maybe sky watching can be my spark. Or walking. I'm really good at walking. Those really aren't purposes, 22. That's just regular old living. Maybe regular old living is just the purpose. I mean, he's just going to go back with... Whatchamacallit? The sign guy? Yeah. Moonwinder? He's going to get in the zone. He's going to get in the zone. And he's going to see 22 as a lost soul. That was easy. She's become a lost soul. What? I'll explain on the way. We gotta save 22. Now that 22 has technically lived, she's become one of them. There! Good show! Good show! 22 is hauling it. You gotta catch 22. First time. Catch 22. Me too is very strong. Moonwind! I got the call that goes down with the ship. Oh no, Moonwind. <laughs> 22! Ski! We are awarding you, Terry, this trophy as you requested. <laughs> I absolutely deserve. <laughs> Joe Gardner? I know, just take that back. <laughs> yep, <laughs> no more trophy. You're not where you belong! <laughs> oh no. Oh, stop it! <laughs> no. Just throwing new souls at him. 22, stop! 22, I was wrong. Will you listen? You are ready to live, 22. Oh my god. She He's just dead. swallowed him. He's dead. Need to fill out that last You're dishonest. All you the make are bad decisions. You are unwise and you won't make it in the world. Selfish. All of her masters have said all these bad things about her. Mentor. Mentors. It's all just noise. It's not true. Those aren't purposes, you idiots. That's just regular old living. Ah. Uh. He was spitting some BS there. Oh, nice. What is that gonna do? Remind 22. Have no purpose. You're ready to live, 22. Yes. You ready? Huh? To come live. I never got my spark. Yes, you did. That last box fills in when you're ready to come live. Ah. Uh. And the thing is, you're pretty great at jazz. Ah. Uh. There's the thing. This is so sweet. Who is 22? Like, what's 22 gonna come as? A baby? Probably a baby, yeah. Has to be a new person. 22 is a new soul. But Joe, this means you won't get oh. it. It's okay. I already did. Oh. Now it's your turn. Oh, that oh. is brutal, bro. Uh. I'll go with you. No, uh. you can't do that. I know. He'll bounce I'll back. Go as far as I can. So is Joe just gonna be like dead at his yeah, piano? He's gonna be dead, bro. Oh. I wanna see how 22 like grows up and. Just go. 
Looks like she's landing in like, like Nepal. I'm sure the great beyond is really nice though. What if he sees his dad? Yes. Do you have a moment? We're in the business of inspiration, Joe, but it's not often we find ourselves inspired. So we all decided to give you another What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully, you will watch where you walk from now on. <laughs> what about Terry? We worked it out with Terry. <laughs> This week. Hey Terry, what's that over there? Look <laughs> immediately. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, he gets why. another chance. He's gonna well, meet with twenty two. Eh, that'd probably be hard to do. But he's gonna teach twenty two. He's a teacher. What do you think you'll do? How are you gonna spend your life? I'm not sure, but I do know. I'm gonna live every minute of it. All right, that was an awesome, awesome movie. I mean, I literally expect all these Disney movies to just be so good, and they always are. Like, like they never let us down. That one was really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think really that was my that. favorite one. That was such was a good there. movie. The whole, like, the last like twenty minutes of it, I was just like in a constant state of about to cry. It was just like so good. It was such a happy ending. I cannot believe, I mean, I guess it is a Disney movie, so like, usually pretty happy, but like, I was really expecting Joe to like, have to like, give up his go spot. Go to the great beyond. Let 22 go. I was, I was hoping that we got to see like 22, like be, maybe be born or like mm -hmm. where 22 mm -hmm. is, but I, I, it, it is nice too to just like, just use your imagination. I mean. I like to think that Joe continued to be a teacher. Yeah. And maybe one day taught 22. The sentiment, like the sentiment and like the message of this movie was really awesome too. Like they were so focused on like, oh, are you going to be like a pianist, a break dancer, mm -hmm. so-and-so, but it's like, no, you're ready to go when you're ready to live. It's not about yeah. what you're going to do. It's how like that you're going to live and cherish it, which is what he said at the end. Like, it doesn't really matter what I'm going to do. Honestly, I'm just going to live and enjoy it and I think that's a really good message. I think people do get a little too hung up on like what they're going to do with their lives. And I mean, it's definitely an important thing, like figuring out what you're going to do, but you also can't get too lost in it and make mm -hmm. sure to take a second and like look around and enjoy life and, and live. That was, yeah, the message was really good. The movie was really good. And 22 and Joe were just both awesome characters. Uh, it's just cool to know that Joe is back on earth and he got 22 on Earth, too, so he knows that she is there, too. Or, I mean, we don't know what 22 is, a girl or a boy. But it's just so cool to know they're both living, and he found out his, like, purpose and got 22's purpose figured out, too. I think it's a super, like, common thing for people to, like, have this idea that, like, well, if I can do this, then I'm just going to be happy. Like, if I can achieve this, then that's when I'll be happy. And, like, the reality is sometimes, like, that isn't what's going to make you happy. Like, it's one specific thing isn't always going to be the end-all, be-all. And I, I really think this movie showed that well and just, like, explained what life really is about. It's, it's about the little things and just, like your experience not not what you do not what your occupation is I, I really really liked the the message i also just thought that the whole concept of like the the land or what was it called the land before and then the beyond. the land before and then the land beyond the great before great beyond. and like that big staircase like all of that was just so cool like conceptually and visually yeah that was really awesome like when joe was falling through all of that towards the beginning of the movie that was so cool i had no idea that it switched up like that that was that was a surprise for me Me too i can't believe he died so quickly i know I mean, dude seeing what? how he was living like yeah he was literally just not focused on i mean he wasn't focused on what was going on around him like you mm -hmm. said he was oblivious like he wasn't paying attention to life around him. Mm -hmm. and I think that was one of the saddest parts of him, like, you know, figuring out he's actually 
dead or in a coma. I don't know what he was. But and the whole portrayal of him in 22 coming back and him as a cat, like that was so cool too. Like, that was really good. It was also good. It it is like a trip, like to think of like if if you were to watch someone that's never lived before live in your body mm -hmm. and make these like choices and like see how they would do it and how it would affect stuff. It's like like 22 living for the first time and doing these things and it was completely changing how people viewed joe in his own life mm -hmm. like 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 you said like he only would talk to to dez or whatever yeah. about jazz and literally dez had way more to talk about mm -hmm. that and he was probably just being a nice guy like yeah i'll cut your hair and talk to you about what you love but and when he was talking to his mom like 22 like he Joe told like said something that he would never say to his mom and then 22 actually said it and then yeah. it led to like probably the most productive conversation that they've had between each other in a long time that was actually one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when 22 was like speaking as Joe to Joe's mom yeah I just thought that was so good yeah and look in thinking back to about I just thought after I said about Dez like how he was like, oh, you wanted to be this. It sucks that you do this now and you're not yeah. happy. Like, he automatically assumed like, he wasn't happy. And he's like, what, what do you what I'm do you so mean? happy, yeah. So that just shows that, like, even if you don't have, like, the you do, you don't get to do exactly what you want to do in your life. You can still live it up and enjoy it. And, mm -hmm. and I feel like I just kind of thought of it now. What was the student's name? Connie? Connie, yeah. On, on the opposite end of that, I feel like Connie was trying to convince herself that, she, like, playing the the clar was it the clarinet uh, the trombone. trombone she was trying to convince herself that like playing the trombone didn't make her happy and that she wanted to quit and stuff but reality it's what makes her happy she loved playing the trombone and she always came back to it so crazy how 22 was so um against being on earth and then she ended up loving it after she lived there i kind of understand what 22 meant though like I feel like the the hall of everything it, it is kind of stupid like why are we, why do you get to like play with pizza and stuff if you don't get to eat it and smell it like it sounds like they don't get to fully experience everything um and i do understand 22 like was i think it's way better to actually live and get to mm -hmm. try things out f for real it's crazy how there's the whole different like place too where they can go down to earth like with the zone the, yeah that's wild the that zone. was a little weird to me how he could just <laughs> play piano well and then and he, then he was yeah i don't know well i, I think it was uh, Is it i'm he's glad been there before i don't maybe know. i'm glad that they what they he wasn't allowed to go back though because i thought yeah. he was just about to hop in and then be able to go back but no he was there and he had to stay just imagine doing really good at something and maybe then... it's just because like you're not normally aware of the zone and he had like been there and he's like i know what the zone is uh. because i think he's the first person that's been off count right like they said that that doesn't happen yeah, in decades it doesn't happen a lot yeah or centuries he's i feel like most people just aren't aware of all of that going on so they wouldn't be able to go there all right guys that's pretty much it though for this movie if you guys enjoyed our reaction please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our social medias and the address to our p.o box on there but yeah we'll catch you guys next time in our next movie for may movie month peace out